Hello and welcome. This is Lazy Girl Dinner's YouTube channel and this is Lazy Girl. Today I'm going to make a herb feta whipped dip. I'm making it to go along with some lamb burgers that I'm making for dinner tonight. The lamb burger recipe will be up on the blog soon, but first let's get to this. So what you'll need is a six ounce package of feta cheese, your favorite, a half a cup of mint, and a couple of sprigs of thyme. You can replace you can replace these items, these herbs with any herbs of your choice. I happen to like mint a whole lot, so um, I chose mint. But you can choose whatever herbs you like, and I like thyme, so I'm going to use those. If you want to use parsley instead or some other mixture of herbs, that's absolutely fine. So first, what we're going to, going to do is put our feta cheese in this blender. You can use a food processor. I'm obviously using my Vitamix but you can use a hand blender like a magic bullet or whatever you have on hand i have a baby bullet and i use that a lot to whip up things in so it doesn't really matter just as long as it's strong enough to whip something up into a nice smooth texture so i've added my feta cheese to my blender and i have a half a cup of water I probably won't use the half a cup of water. I just need to use enough water to make it the right consistency. So however thick you'd like this dip, that's up to you. Um, I'm just going to pour it in until I'm happy with the consistency. You could use something else. You could use yogurt. You could use sour cream. I'm choosing just to stick with water because I don't want the extra calories and this cheese is made with goat milk, so I'd rather keep it in the same family of milk. So, you guys can decide to do whatever you want. So, here I go. I'm going to blend this up, and I'm going to add a little water. So, I have my blender on a really low speed, so it can break it up a little bit before I start to add the water. So I turned it, the machine off and as you can see it's a little bit more smooth than it started out so I want to add just a little bit more water to make it even more smooth. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn on the machine again. So I turned it on and I'm going to add a little bit more water. And then out of here. And I'm going to scrape down the side. So that's a great consistency right there. So now I'm going to take it out and pour it in the bowl and I'm going to add my herb. So I transferred the feta cream now into a bowl and I'm going to just add my herbs here. And I'm just going to put them in and mix them well. Slowly. And now I'm just adding a few sprigs of thyme here and mixing that in. So I just mixed it all together really well and it's done. I didn't even have to use another bowl. This is as lazy as it gets. So there you have it. You have a great feta cheese dip that you can use on 
anything crackers we're gonna have this on top of our lamb burgers and it is delicious no salt needed because feta has plenty of salt so if you would like this or any of my recipes go to www.lazygirldinners.com and you can get this recipe and a host of other delicious and healthy recipes